All right, as you can tell from the setup, for those of you that have been along for the ride, things are gonna be a little bit different today. We're gonna to be comparing three travel tripods. And what I mean by travel tripods are I place priority on the weight of the tripod and also the folded dimensions of the tripod because I'm looking for a replacement for my old tripod right here, which is a bit heavy. Up, oh, you. Okay, don't get me wrong, it's been a good tripod. I've had this for about four years now, and there's little things on it that are starting to annoy me as far as these rubber little pieces right here that are slipping off. Like this one right here is already lost, so when it goes to tighten, you can't really get a good grip when it comes to tightening. I purchased this tripod for $50. This is, it's Prima Photo, and something just dropped off this tripod. So it's a Prima Photo. I purchased it for $50, and they have this same exact tripod for $120. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go this route because these three tripods that we're going over right now, they're all carbon fiber. So they're gonna weigh quite a bit less than this tripod right here. And though the size wasn't too bad, I still wanted to go a little bit smaller on the overall broke down folded size. In regard to price, I wanted to keep it budget. And I say budget, it might not be budget for some people, but when you look at the grand scheme of things, there's tripods that are I think are like $5,000 and there's tripods that are like 10 or $15. So these tripods that I'm going to be going over right here, they are, I believe the most expensive one is $130 and the cheapest one is $90. We'll preface it with that. So when you're talking about tripod usage, it's basically stabilization that supersedes hand holding the camera. Now, one more thing that I wanna add and very important thing, this video is not sponsored. I paid for these tripods with my own money. That being said, if you want me to test out a tripod, you can go ahead and send it my way. Shoot me an email. All right, uh, okay, let's get into this. Aoka, in the box we have a bag. There we go. All right, so here is how big the Aoka is in hand. It comes with an extension. You have your ball head right here. This ball head, you screw in onto the top right here. Or if you don't need the extension, you can simply screw in the ball head to the top of the legs without the extension. And you can just carry it around like this, or you can carry it around like this in that bag that I just showed you. All right, so I'm gonna keep this really quick as far as showing you what they look like, and then we'll go over the dimensions um, with all of them compared to each other. Next up we have Siriu. This seems a tad bit fancier when it comes to the bag. It's a little thicker, a little larger. This is definitely a bit beefier in hand. This is what it looks like. This doesn't have, well, it does have an extension. I, I would say more so a, a center post, if you will. And you can take this off if you want to, but you don't really need to, in my opinion, because these legs, unlike the other one, they fold up. So you can keep that center post on here and it doesn't really take up a lot of room. Here's the sizes. This one right here, the Siriu, is definitely, quite a bit thicker, which will play a role when we come to talk about the sturdiness of these. The smaller one is actually a bit taller, but it weighs significantly less. All right, so this one in Aurel, of all the bags, this one is definitely the fanciest. And I can already tell this is quite a bit beefier than the other ones. So here we are. This is probably twice the weight of the other two that we've that we've opened but here's it in hand it's still very packable you can put this on the side of your backpack in your in your bottle holder so here's nrl siriu and here's a size difference this compared to this all right weight wise you know what it's not that much heavier than this but we'll get into those specs in just a sec when you compare it to this Aoka is probably at least double the weight. And it's a tad bit taller as well. 
Now to get into the dimensions pertaining to when they are folded. So we have the Aoka and we have the Siriu. So the Aoka, this one is 14 and three quarters inches, whereas this is 14 inches. And I mean, this does have the ball head on right now that you can take off, but I think in the real, in a real world aspect, I think it's more practical to carry it around with the head on as opposed to taking it on and off because you're not gonna have to do that with these other tripods. So again, 14 and three quarters, 14 inches. And let's keep this one up. And we have this one, the NO rail. Weight wise, yeah, there's a, it seems like a half a pound difference, but we'll get into that to see specifically the weight difference. But for now, we're gonna discuss the height right here. The Siriu is 14 inches. And this one right here is 15 and a quarter, more so 15 and a half. So there's definitely a little bit of a difference between these two. And then when we go back to compare the Aoka, they're a lot closer in size, yet as far as weight wise, definitely a big difference. And I'm just gonna say right off the bat, we know that this is gonna be a lot more sturdy as well. Getting into weight now. So this one right here is, this is the Aoka. It's 1.1 pounds whereas the Siriu is about one and a half pounds. So about a half pound difference between the two. And now the Siriu compared to the NRL, this one's three pounds. So we're talking a pound and a half difference. I mean, it really doesn't seem too significant, but you can definitely tell this is gonna be heavier. So three pounds right here, technically 1.58 pounds right here. And then so again, going back to the lightest one of them all, you can definitely tell there's a huge difference between the Yoka and the NRL. This being the three pounds, this being 1.1 pounds. If you're looking for a light backpacking tripod, the Yoka might suit the bill for you. One very important specification to take into consideration when you are discussing tripods is their weight rating. And the weight rating is how much weight they can hold and what I mean by that, how much weight can the tripod and the ball head hold on here? And this is going into the sturdiness of the tripod. So with the smallest one, the Yoka, the weight rating is 5.5 pounds, which is 2.5 kilograms. So this is 5.5 pounds. So that's the Aoka. The Siriu is 11 pounds and 11 pounds, five kilograms. And the NRL, which is the biggest one, the weight rating is 26.5. So we have 26.5, we have 11.6, and we have five and a half pounds for their weight rating. So depending on what kind of camera you're gonna be using, maybe it's gonna be a GoPro, maybe it's gonna be your phone, maybe it's gonna be a DSLR, maybe it's gonna be a mirrorless camera, that is something to take into consideration when choosing between a tripod. Staying on the topic of weight rating and what it can hold, I went through all three of these tripods and I tightened down the ball head. And when I tightened down the ball head, I tried to move the ball to see if I can move it. And they all did really well when it came to strength, even the smallest one of them all. And I actually, I really like the levers on the Yoka and then also on the Siriu because you can really tighten them down with that extra lever arm right here. Whereas the NRL, it has more so a ball to tighten. However, I didn't have a problem tightening it down tight enough to where I wasn't able to move the ball head. So I do appreciate the leverage on the other tripods, but it still wasn't an issue when it came to tightening this down, even though it wasn't a lever arm. Something that differentiated this tripod from the others was when it comes to tightening, with this it allows you to test, to actually change the tension of the ball head to where you can have it really loose or you can gradually tighten it up to where it is controlled, which would come into play when you're trying to pan or angle up and down. Next up, when it comes to the ball head and its components, we have the QR plates, the quick release plates. They're all Arca Swiss with all three of these tripods. And this is the Siriu. So that's the size of this one. And I'll get the NRL. Siriu and the NRL. 
Personally, I do like a bigger size QR plate just because I think it, it feels more substantial. Therefore, it should add to the sturdiness. So NRL, Siriu, and unfortunately, the Aoka tripod, it's supposed to come with that QR plate. However, the QR plate did not come with the tripod. Another specification to take into consideration with tripods is the max height. So with the Aoka, and let's do the Siri right next to each other. So the Aoka, max height of this is 46 inches, and the max height of this is 55 inches. Now the Siri compared to the NRL, so we have 55 inches right here, and we have 63 inches right here. So 63, 55, and 46 inches are the max heights. When we are discussing the max heights, I definitely wouldn't put the Aoka to its max height because when you do put this extension on here, here's what you're working with. So you unscrew the extensions, tighten it up, tighten it up. This is very thin. So let's say you, even if you have a mirrorless camera, it's, it still seems like it's gonna be quite wobbly, especially with how thin the legs are. So I honestly don't even consider this usable at this height. So I would probably take this down and I would use it at this height right here very carefully though I'd make sure to, if you can, weigh it down just to give it a little more stability. But again, when it says the max height is 46 inches, I would probably take it down to about maybe 38 inches because I wouldn't recommend using something on the end of this unless it's, let's say, a GoPro or maybe a phone. This one right here, this is fairly stable, but again, getting down to the legs at the bottom, it's rather thin. And when it comes to stability, it definitely gets a little wobbly when these are extended. So with this tripod as well, I would probably choose if I were to use this one, I would choose to keep that last section in. Now, when we're taking a look at the NRL, the thing that I do like about this, yeah, this is three pounds compared to one and a half and one pound, but this last leg extension, I think it's at least double the diameter of the Siriu, so I really like that about it. So in functionality pertaining to the max height, you really do get the full 63 inches when it comes to the NRL tripod. Getting into the legs and the locking mechanism, all three of these have different systems. With this Aoka, you pull this out, the tab, and you can put your leg where you want it. Good thing about this tripod, you can pull it out and put the legs all the way up like so. So as far as a minimum shooting height, you can get fairly low to the ground because you can put this pretty much flat. With the Siriu, this locking mechanism, you press it down and it stays out kind of the same thing, but instead of pulling it out, you're pressing it down to make it stay out. And again, with this tripod as well, you can make this go flat as well and shoot from a really low angle. Getting into the NRL, with this one, you have to keep it held down and then move it. So that's gonna be the difference between the Siriu and this leg lock is the fact that you have to keep it held down and move it. So if that's something that you wanna take into consideration, those are the details pertaining to this one, having to hold it out. This one, the Siriu, you press down and the Yoka, you pull out. Hmm. Before I forget, something that's really neat with the NRL is how I was just talking about the minimum shooting heights with the other tripods. With this, you can actually take out the center pole and actually put it in the bottom and then shoot extremely close to the ground. Yes, the camera will be upside down, but you can always change that in post. But yeah, something really neat and it just adds to the versatility of this tripod. Going further down the tripod to the feet. So this one right here, the Yoka, actually has spikes right underneath the foot right here that you can take on and off. The Siriu, from what I know, I don't think 
you can actually change these out. I haven't really been able to figure that out. With the NRL, the NRL, you actually can unscrew the feet and change them out and put spikes on if you want to. Heading back up to the top of the tripod to the ball head area. So the Yoka does have a level on the top. The Siryu doesn't have a level on the top in the ball head area that I'm aware of, but it does have a level right at the legs. So there's that. And with the NRL, you do have a level on the knob right here and also on the QR plate holder right there. Now to sum things up. All right, so with the Yoka, I definitely do appreciate the size and the weight, it is very small. So if you are looking for something that is very light, this is a good option. It does have its functionality, though you can't hold a lot of weight. So if you're going to use, let's say, a very small point and shoot, a GoPro or your phone, this would probably be a good option. I don't think that I would even bother carrying this top section around. It's just one more thing to lose being that I wouldn't carry it connected. So I would just use this tripod just like this. And I mean, the quality looks great, but I mean, they did forget to include the QR plate with this tripod. So as far as quality control on the stuff going out, they definitely need some improvement. And I mean, I did get this off of Amazon, so maybe it was a return and, they, and whoever had it didn't put the QR plate back in. So that's what it is. But anyways, that's what happened to me. So real life, real world experience with Aoka. Now, with Siryu, Siryu will, oh, and price wise on the Aoka, I think it was $89.99, so $90 for the Aoka. Now, with the Siryu, really good quality. Um, and as far as the size and weight, I mean, it's a really, really good option. It was really tough to decide between this one and the NRL. The one thing that did differentiate between the two quite significantly is the sturdiness. So if you are going to be using, let's say a DSLR or a heavier mirrorless camera, I would probably go the NRL route, but if you aren't going to fully extend it, you don't need the extra height from this last section of leg, this is a very good option, especially considering the weight. This is 1.5 pounds, whereas the NRL is three pounds. So if weight is more of a concern for you and you, in that 1.5 pounds, you'd really appreciate saving that, then this would really be a good option. I mean, I really do like the quality on the locks. I don't think I discussed this, but there's rubber wrapping around the locks and this rubber wrapping doesn't seem like this'll come off like with my old tripod because significantly different than how it's put on my old tripod. Very, very viable option right here with the Siriu. All right, time for the NRL. If you can't already tell, I really do like this. It checks a lot of boxes for me. I'll start with the con. The con would be this rubber around this knob that tightens and loosens the ball head. However, I did look into this and it's actually, there's an indention before the end of this knob. So the rubber actually sits down in a little groove. So as far as slipping out, it shouldn't slip out or it would have a very difficult time of coming off. So even though it gives me a little, <laughs> some flashbacks with my old tripod, it shouldn't be a problem with this new one. There's nice rubber wraps around the tightening apparatus for the legs, which I really like. And again, one of the main things that really sells me on this is this last leg. Being that this last leg is very substantial, when it gives the maximum height of this being 63 inches, I can actually, and I will use this at the full 63, inches and not worry about any wobbling or potential falling over. And if I do have a sense of that, I can always weigh it down with this hook right here. In addition to having the option of inverting the center pole to bring the camera down, because I do do a lot of macro photography. I mean, all in all, I really do like this. And yes, it is more heavy than the other ones, being that this is three pounds. The Siri U is 1.65 and 
uh, the Yoka is 1.1 pounds. I do think the amount of weight does still make it worthwhile to go the heavier route. And also the folded form factor of this, 15.25 inches, whereas this is 14 inches, but I much rather take the sturdiness of this as opposed to saving an inch and a half or so with the Siryu. And this right here for its versatility, yeah, you can use it with your phone or a GoPro, but this I can use for absolutely everything. Now, a GoPro, this might be a little excessive, but I can throw a Sony a7 III on here with a 70 to 200 or the Sony a7 III with a Sigma 100 to 400 and not have to worry about it. But if I did want to take extra precautions, I can always weigh it down with a little hook right here. So yeah, if you can't tell, I am keeping the NRL, but the others aren't bad options, especially if you're taking weight into consideration. The Yoka, I mean, the quality is definitely there. I just really wish they had sent me the QR plate to give it a justifiable review. But I mean, this review is very, I think is justified. Uh, yeah, so there's that. And then also if you're looking for something that's in between the Yoka and you don't need something as stable as an NRL, maybe you are just shooting a mirrorless or a point and shoot, this would more than suffice to take care of that. I just, again, want that extra stability with this NRL and price point, $129.90 is not bad at all for a carbon fiber, carbon fiber uh, tripod, especially taking into consideration that my old Prima photo uh, tripod that I bought for $50 is now like $110 or $120. Yeah, this is a lot better purchase right here. So yeah, as always, I hope that you found this video helpful, perhaps intriguing. If you do, please go ahead and give this a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing. I mean, I don't usually do gear reviews. I do a lot more beard stuff, hair stuff, lots of lifestyle stuff, snowboarding, kiteboarding, surfing, wakeboarding. Yeah. Until next time. Peace. We out.